Dear God, I still vividly remember that day when I couldn't deny your promptings and the dreams any longer. I thought we had something. Just me and you. Something intimate where I didn't have to feel that my love for you was interrupted by a love for someone else. But I thank you for interrupting it the way you did. Because only you can make our love even stronger by calling me to love someone else. You said, I'm giving you the gift of marriage because I know you won't squander it. And I'm still filled with fear. Fear of you, of what you can do. You've taken my expectations of what romance ought to be and entrusted me with an ambitious young woman who would teach me what true love is instead.
truly, every good and perfect gift is from you, from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. If you've been around him, you know the draw that he has about him, that just pulls you in. It's the talent, it's the silliness, it's the charisma, and I've been so blessed to have a relationship with Messiah that goes beyond friendship. There are so many things that I take from him that reflect in my own life now, right? Especially love. And it's a simple yes, and it can change everything. As you and Ali Nat um, run the race together and face life's challenges, I know that you'll continue to have that joy and continue to rely on God in, in all you do. You know, no matter where we are, no matter what mistakes we've made, no matter what season we're going through, that we are safe in God's presence. I think my friendship with Saya has really taught me that. So thank you, Saya. Congratulations to the both of you. Curly hair, brown eyes, and obedient. You taught our family the, the phrase, I love you. And normalized hugging our parents too, as we grappled with the thought of you being married. I hope you know how loved you are by me, by us. So dear Alina, despite living five to 10,000 miles apart, I'm thankful our friendship hasn't changed, and even more so that I can call you my sister. Your fire and love for the Lord is so evident. It overflows onto anyone who crosses your path, and luckily for you, Josiah, you are on that path. I saw you wrestle, I saw you fight, and I saw your tears and how you chose to dye your, to your flesh, morning and all those nights. And now you radiantly carry your precious battle scars into this next season, and I couldn't be more proud of you. I couldn't be more excited for you. I prayed for a friend, a true friend, in one of my darkest times. And in one of the fastest responses to date, he sent me Ali Nett. Even though she apparently wasn't looking for friendship. <laughs> Ali Nett and I had a weirdly high number of conversations about Josiah's character and future, which to me was normal because I talk a lot about anyone that I care about, but now I know why Ali Nett was talking so much about Josiah. And with this union you are both entering in, I pray that it's not only a humbling experience for you both, but that through loving one another in the highs and lows that you gain a greater depth of how amazing it is that God, who knows the darkest parts of our hearts, loves us still. He revealed so much love, how much He loved you. And I saw that in your relationship. This is just the beginning of everything. But don't forget that me and Anna will always be here behind you to support you all the way. You must do, do the right thing, do the right fight. Don't forget Jesus Christ and your know, support of this family with you guys. You're always here. I am happy and very hopeful that you will be happy and very hopeful that you will be happy now and that eternity is to come. Sister Alinette, you've always been to me the wild stallion, very challenging to tame, but very ext extremely rewarding to invest in. You have an amazingly abandoned and surrendered heart to love Jesus, to serve Him and honor Him. And Josiah, I always say this and will say it again, we will always believe in you. You are a great man of God and will one day lead and impact many churches for Him. But now He's given to you your first church plant, your wife, as Alibet. And I know you will do everything you can to lay your life down for her, to love her and consider her above yourself. She is your secret weapon and the first and foremost assignment that God gave to you. Thank you for Josiah, for this gift of marriage. Please help me not to squander it. Your servant and daughter, Alinet. I thank you that she didn't wait. 
And I thank you that you didn't wait until I was ready to love Ellie. Thank you for interrupting my love for you with Alianette's love for me. And for proving to me that they don't have to conflict, but are perfectly together because of you. Sincerely, Josiah.